Here's how you can get from F9 to A14 cross multiplication. Okay, so we're going to do a cross multiplication question. So we have this 3 over x plus 2 minus 4x minus 3 over 5. So this is a F9 student common mistake. So they often see this minus as like an equal and they will go and do the cross multiplication. They will have, end up having x plus 2 multiplied with 4x minus 3 equals to 3 times 5. If you want to get A1, here is what you should do. So take note that this is not a uh, equal, this is a minus. So if it's a minus, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to combine it into a single fraction. So put a fraction and you have to know that this side have to compensate with multiply by 5, multiply by 5. This side compensate with x plus 2, x plus 2. And when you put it into a single fraction, put the denominator first which is 5 bracket x plus 2. And as for the numerator, do not expand it first. Put it into one line with the bracket. So you will have 3, 5 minus 4x minus 3 and x plus 2. So then you can now to start to expand the numerator. So 3 times 5 is 15 minus. And when you have a minus, it's very sensitive. Make sure that you use bracket. So I put the bracket here first and then you do your rainbow. So you will do 4x squared plus 8x minus 3x minus 6 and don't forget your denominator and keep it in the factorized form then you can put a quiet one here so that you can do your expansion so again before I go to the next line I write my denominator first before it disappear now open up so 15 and you're going to rainbow this minus 4x square minus plus is minus 8x Minus minus if you plus and then 3x minus minus plus 6 And what you need to do now is to group the like terms together So minus 4x square has no friends so stand alone Now we have this minus 8 plus 3 Please use the calculator to loop and this up huh? So you have minus 5x Lastly the number plus 15 plus 6 will give you plus 21 and don't forget your denominator and they should be in the factorized form so double check oh i cannot further factorize so this is my final answer so before you cross multiply pause and ask yourself is that an equal or is that a minus if it's an equal yes if it's a minus do not cross multiply and teacher kenji i turn f9 students into a1 students follow for more or join my classes